Welcome to our Monday Roundup for March 18th, 2024. On this day in 1990, the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston became the scene of the world's largest art theft, with masterpieces valued at $500 million and still missing. Today's stories range from global politics to technological marvels with a dash of natural wonder. Let's dive in. Number one, Putin's predictable victory. President Vladimir Putin has secured his fifth term, extending his control over Russia amidst a crackdown on opposition and a staged election. While his reign continues, small but brave acts of protest highlight the yearning for democratic change in Russia and beyond, reminding us of the global challenge to preserve the integrity of democratic processes. Two, shaking up the housing market, a landmark $418 million settlement with the National Association of Realtors could lead to lower home prices by fundamentally changing commission structures. This could energize the housing market, making home buying and selling more accessible and potentially shaking up the real estate industry. Number three, Trump's rally in Ohio. Donald Trump at a rally in Ohio claims that only he can protect social security amidst warnings of electoral repercussions. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. I don't think you're going to have another election in this country. If we don't win this election, I don't think you're going to have another election or certainly not an election that's meaningful. Number four, a missing piece on Boeing's flight. A Boeing 737-800 lands missing an external panel, adding to the aerospace giant's scrutiny. The FAA's investigation will further examine the incident, highlighting ongoing concerns over aviation safety and quality control at Boeing. Number five, the return of supersonic travel. NASA's unveiling of the X-59 jet signals a resurgence in supersonic passenger flights, promising faster, quieter, and more sustainable air travel. As the industry explores the frontiers of speed, the challenges of economics and environmental impact loom large. Number six, free speech versus misinformation. The Supreme Court's review of the Biden administration's fight against misinformation on social media brings the intricate balance between free speech and safeguarding of democracy into sharp focus. This pivotal case could redefine the boundaries of online expression and governmental oversight. Number seven, seal spitting, a natural and historical phenomenon. The recent observation of a seal spitting at a white-tailed eagle introduces us to an unexpected behavior in the animal kingdom, joining the ranks of spitting cobras and archfish. This action, while mysterious, suggests a form of communication or a defense among these sea mammals. Adding a twist of historical human behavior to our natural story, we recall the ancient Greek philosopher Diogenes. In a crowded room, rather than disrespectfully spitting on the floor, Diogenes chose to spit on a wealthy man's face, declaring it the least repulsive option available to him. This anecdote from history, much like the seal's spontaneous act, underscores the unique and sometimes the startling ways spitting has been utilized across species and through time. To conclude, from the grip of autocracy in Russia to transformative settlements in the real estate sector, today's roundup spans the gamut of global and domestic news. The revival of supersonic travel hints at future horizons, while a seal's surprising behavior offers a moment of wonder. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, tales of natural wit and mysteries of the natural world remind us of the enduring curiosity and adaptability that define us. Thank you for tuning in to today's Roundup. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for your daily digest of news and insights, and check out more videos in this series over here, and join me tomorrow for more updates. I will see you tomorrow.